everyone, welcome back to So They Say Vlog. It is March 1st. Welcome March. And since it is March, you know what that means. It means my birthday is coming up in less than two weeks. So if you plan on sending me anything, now's the time to do so. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, seriously, I hope you guys all had a good weekend. <laughs> One of the things I did this weekend was watch the Oscars, which I kind of... I'm excited for them every year, but this year was a pretty big disappointment. Half of it was my fault, because I've only watched two of the movies that were nominated for Best Picture. I think there were ten of them. I watched The Social Network a day before the Oscars, like, total cramming. And I watched uh, Toy Story 3, which is amazing, but, you know, laughable that that was the only movie that I'd seen of the Best Picture nominees. Um, also painful because the hosts were really bad, Anne Hathaway is not very funny, and I felt like James What's-His-Face was just embarrassed to be there, so it was kind of a painful, yet I guess laughable experience, and yeah. A lot of the awards outcomes were pretty predictable, so it was kind of like, eh. Yeah, and not very, even very many funny speeches. So the Oscars was just pretty ho-hum to me this year. I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know below. And my favorite part of the Oscars, sadly, was probably when Mandy Moore and the other dude, like, sang that song from Tangled. I loved Tangled. Like, it was really good. I don't know. I just, like, keep thinking about the story of Tangled, and it's just, like, such an amazing story. I didn't know Rapunzel, like, had so much action and drama and angst and, like, love. And it's really good, so you should kind of watch Tangled if you get a chance. I highly recommend it. As for the rest of my weekend, it was pretty jam-packed. I don't remember much time where I was idle. I mean, I worked some, I played board games, which was awesome. I randomly got to pet a llama, which how often do you get to say you do that? And, you know, just regular church errands kind of stuff too. I tried to cook my- I bought this vegan cookbook, so disclaimer, I'm- I don't know what this means. Disclaimer, I'm kind of a vegetarian, and by kind of, I mean I am a vegetarian. Um, <laughs> I just say that because I like to dilute it because some people think it's really scary. Um, but I, I'm not that scary, I just don't eat meat and I kind of keep it to myself, except for now when I'm broadcasting it to the world. and. Where was I going with this? Okay, so I'm flirting with veganism, which <laughs> is more strict, probably more scary, people would think. But I'm lactose intolerant, and eggs have kind of been weird lately in my stomach. So <laughs> I was just kind of curious, you know, trying out some vegan recipes. So I tried the first one in this book, and it was a colossal fail. And there's like nothing more sad than like spending all this time on a new recipe, and it tastes like crap. It looks like crap, and you try to eat it because of like some cognitive dissonance, and you're like, I'll try to eat this. No, it sucks. And you like buy all these ingredients, there was like so much prep in it, like it was so bad. So basically, I've not, I've been eating a lot, eating out kind of ever since because I'm just afraid. It shocks me to my core how bad something I could cook could taste, and maybe I'm not ready for cooking week on So They Say Vlog. Um, this is an aside. And, of course, I thought of it because of your video Friday when you are talking about eating baby cows, and I can't do that anymore. But your food did look really good. I still think it looks good. I just try to resist because it would make me sick if I ate it. Because it's been so long since I've had meat. Anywho, yeah, I'm still just going on about that, aren't I? Um, but... I look forward to your next video, Andrew, and I miss you. And I hope you had a good weekend too. Peace.